You always remember your first love, and football was my first love. I played one season with the Houston Texans in the NFL, mostly practice squad, never got on the field, but my dream was to be a player, to be a starter, to be an all pro, win Super Bowls. It's a tough league, and it's just business sometimes. It was heartbreaking. I had worked 20 years to put myself in the position to make a living doing what I love, and it was heartbreaking having that taken away from me. I'm married and have two kids, a son and a daughter. My daughter's five and my son is two. My wife's name is Jess, and she's the best wife because she just accepts who I am. Try going and tell your wife that you're gonna quit your job because you wanna go take your shirt off and fight people on an octagon. See how she reacts. She told me, go do it, but make sure you do it right. When I go out there and win this fight, it'll be because of the support I had from my family. I quit my job eight months ago to go chase this dream, and my wife has been holding it down ever since then. I'm a fighter that learned MMA. I don't have any background, any specific art. I'm not a kickboxer, I'm not a wrestler. I'm an MMA fighter. I learned how to fight in an octagon, and that's what I do. I do everything. Beautiful, that's pretty good. My main training partner is Curtis Blades. It gives me so much confidence being able to train with him day in and day out. I think it's really cool to have been a part of Zach's journey from the beginning. I got to see him when he first walked into the gym and when he didn't have any experience. That was four years ago and then to see him today, the growth has been ridiculous and uh, I'm just happy to have been a part of the journey. This is no longer a dream. I can feel it, I can taste it. This is going to happen. When I win the Ultimate Fighter, I'm gonna tell my kids and my wife that this is just the first step. We're just getting started. I started fighting because of my son, Nash. We had him in 2016. He passed away in uh, 2019 uh, from drowning. He's the main reason that I fight. I know my son's still here. I know he's with me in a different way, and he's, uh, he's pushing me in a, in a way to, to be a better person. Whatever I want to do in this world, I'm going to do, and I'm going to accomplish, and nothing and nobody will stop me. My big brother, his name is Kamaru Usman, the Nigerian nightmare, the welterweight champion of the world. I've always been watching, I've always been soaking up his energy, I've always been there, I've always been taking mental reps, mental notes. The squeeze is not uh, with your arm, the squeeze is neck. Drop the shoulder down into it. I know that with the same work, I can uh, accomplish the same goals, and uh, I'm on a mission to do just that. Being here, just competing, is a dream of mine. From a little town, a little village where we're from in Nigeria, we're here in America, and everybody can walk around and say they know our last name. That shows that we are destined for this greatness, and I'm chasing a dream because I've seen it happen. Since leaving the tough house, people think this version of you on the tough show is what they saw, but they don't understand that that was just a glimpse of who I am. And uh, I've been working on a lot of things with my coaches. I've added more uh, weapons into my toolbox. I'm just a completely different fighter, and uh, I can't wait to get in there and uh, compete. Since I left the tough house, I had a chance to be the best version of myself, and that's all I've been doing, training and preparing and getting ready to, to make the best performance possible. Muhammad's in a lot of danger getting in that octagon with me. I want to show the world that I'm a level above the rest of the heavyweight division. And that starts with beating Muhammad. This matchup with Zach Paga, I love it. I didn't think it was going to end up us being on the same teams. But at the end of the day, I knew, like Juliana told me, it doesn't matter if you're on the same team or opposite team, you're going to end up fighting the top guys. Zach is a hard fighter, he's a tough fighter. But I hope he's prepared to go to war with me because that's what it's going to be and that's what I'm bringing. I've been through too much. Now I'm in the final. I can't take my eye off the prize now. I will do whatever it takes to be crowned the next ultimate fighter. I want to show the world that the Usman's is not just a one-trick pony. I'm going to leave everything out there. I will have my hand raised and I will be the tough 30 champion.